1962, a man from Texas decided he wanted to go fast. Luxury was not on the list of priorities, nor was building a car with totally unique styling. No, he thought about only one thing, power to weight. By dropping the biggest engine available into a lightweight British Roadster, Carroll Shelby created one of the fastest, most terrifying supercars the world had ever seen. Now, 50 years later, another Texan has arrived, eager to make his mark on the supercar world. And though the Hennessy Venom GT Spider weighs just 15% more than the Cobra that inspired it, it makes 150% more horsepower. John Hennessy turns everything up to 11. I mean, really, how many people drive a Viper and then decide it needs twice the horsepower? Such is the case with this car. It's a foot wider than the Lotus Elise on which it's based, and 18 inches longer. In fact, all that's left from the donor car is the windshield, interior, air conditioning, and doors. Everything in front of the windshield or behind the seats is all new. The engine is based on the GM LSX, but stroked to seven liters with two 67 millimeter precision turbos compressing anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds of boost, depending on how crazy the driver feels. At full tilt, it makes 1,244 horsepower, sending all that power to the rear wheels through a Ricardo six-speed transmission from the Ford GT. The whole body is handmade carbon fiber and features adjustable aerodynamics. Because there's never enough road, the ceramic brakes are 15 inches at all corners with six piston calipers up front and four piston in the rear. At 150 miles an hour, it makes 1,150 pounds of downforce and theoretically will do 272 miles an hour. Sure, it resembles a Lotus and shares a dashboard with a car costing just $50,000. But to complain about such things is to miss the point entirely. Like Carroll Shelby before him, John Hennessy just wants to go fast. And you can too, for just over one million dollars. About four or five years ago, I was thinking, what can we do to improve the performance of our cars? I thought, we need to go faster, but Maybe adding more horsepower isn't always the answer. Maybe going lighter weight to improve performance would be the answer. And so we joked around about taking a Lotus Elise or an Exige and pulling the Toyota 4Banger out of the back and putting our twin turbo V10 Viper motor in the back. And one day I had our artist uh, do up a sketch and I looked at the sketch and I'm like, we could build that car. And uh, here we are four years later in the Venom GT. Someone embodies my idea of maximum horsepower, minimal weight in a usable package that's drivable, that's got downforce, carbon ceramic brakes, stops and turns, and looks cool in the process. I haven't uh, driven it all yet, so you're gonna get my natural reactions to everything. There's still a little bit of Lotus left in here, so to start it, you have to do the lock-unlock thing. <laughs> well, shall we then? The clutch travel is about two inches, it is extremely stiff, and uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, lots of torque, tons of torque. This has electric power steering, shifters right out of a Ford GT, it feels great, nice and slick. The ride quality is great, better than an actual Lotus, I gotta say. It's very smooth, the long wheelbase might have something to do with that, it also feels more rigid than a Lotus. Lotuses are a little I don't know, tinny? This thing, because of the cage, because of the wheelbase, feels really good. Listen, the turbos just spool up. It's about power to weight, that's it. All right, let's do a little third gear roll on. <laughs> oh my god. It, it takes your breath away. There's pressure on your chest. You know, your, your head is in the seat. It's like every... 
Oh my god, Let, let's do that again. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I drive a lot of fast cars. You drive a lot of fast cars. Every time I drive a Venom GT, it thrills me and it scares me a little bit. And I think that's something that our customers want in a car like this. They want a car that's got a little bit of a of an edge to it. Uh, you know, the thing about a Veyron or uh, other, other supercars that come out of Europe, they're very fast, but they're very antiseptic, and you just kind of feel like you're along for the ride, almost like you've got somebody that's a chauffeur. This car, you got to drive it. This car, you got to use your brain. This car, you got to use your skills. And it will reward you or punish you according to how well you use those skills. And so uh, it's a car that demands a lot of respect, but uh, thrilling is the one word that I would use. I love my right hand feels like I'm in a Ford GT. My ears think I'm in a twin turbo Corvette. My body thinks I'm looking at a Lotus. And The point is to scare the crap out of me. That's what this car's for. This is the I want to scare myself every time I get in it car. And guess what? Uh, it works. Yeah, it works. It works good for that. Well, my drive is ending, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get out of this car, I'm gonna have a cigarette, and then I'm gonna give John Hennessy a really big hug. Because damn. Supermodel sex, that's the kind of fun this thing is. It's supermodel sex fun. Look, John, I didn't crash it! Holy Thank you, brother. Wow! Thank you, brother. <laughs> that Thank thing you, brother. is... Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love you. I want one so bad. Oh, I'm not really sure what else there is to say right now that I haven't already said, but let me just leave you with this. Yes, there is a Lotus interior inside this. Yes, the doors are from a Lotus, and yes, you register it as a Lotus, okay? So it is a tuner car. So it may not be a Zonda or a Koenigsegg or a Veyron in terms of the prestige. But I dare you to get in this car, put it in third, and mat it to the floor, and not scream like a little schoolgirl because you are having the best time of your entire life. This is unquestionably the fastest car I've ever driven, the coolest car I've ever driven, and with only six built, the most unique car I've ever driven. I would like to thank Mr. John Hennessy for finally allowing me to come out and drive this car, and uh, the secret celebrity owner for not minding so much. And we're just getting started. Season two of Tuned is now officially on. I don't know where we're gonna go from here, but it's gonna be good, I promise you that. I'm Matt Farah, and you've been watching Tuned right here on the Drive Network. Now I need a beer. <laughs>